What's up, Beast? This is Donnie Tudal with Beast Athletes. Today, we're going to work on how to properly use a belt. <laughs> Sierra is just so fucking excited to do this. So, <laughs> here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through the do's and the don'ts, okay? So, Sierra, go ahead and toss that belt on. Um, we like to use a single prong belt. Two prong belts are just kind of a bitch. Single prong, one spot where the pressure is being applied. If you got double and you're wider on top or wider on bottom, it's gonna disperse that pressure unevenly. Single prong or lever is much more consistent. Consistency is key. So, Sierra just put her belt on. Is this where you normally lift with your belt? Okay, so hands down, relax. Okay, all day. I can almost fit my entire hand in there, okay? Now, that is how you should have it. Brace. Hard to get it out. Now, if you can't fill into your belt, you're doing it wrong. Now, every meet you've ever been to, come on, bro, suck it in, <laughs> suck it in. Stop being a bitch. All right, well, now I can get my fingers in there. Maybe I can't, but. Okay, the goal of this, take that. that's wrong, don't do that, okay? So, put it on nice and easy, just right there is fine, or use your arm. All right, so think about it like this, arm down. Now, there's very, very little pressure on our arm right now. I'm about to add pressure. Okay, now it's tight, snug, flex. Try and do something with your arm. Okay, she's not actually able to curl all the way up because it's constricted, like a, like a boa constrictor. Okay, it's making it hard for your muscles to work. You're supposed to tighten up your core and expand your core and fill up your core. How are you supposed to do that if something is compressing your core? Leave that thing on a little bit looser and grow into it. Keep that thing pressed into the belt all around. That is what a belt is for. A belt is not a constrictor, okay? It is something for you to brace into and grow into, fill into. It is not a tool for constriction and restriction. If you have that thing on there so damn tight that they can't move it, you're doing it wrong. Now, we go down, light pressure, go ahead, flex. Now it's filling in, and as you fill that thing up, then it becomes tight, but you're able to expand your diaphragm, push and brace into it. Think about, think about it as like a 55 gallon or 50 gallon drum, or like a burn barrel or a can of Coke. Those things are a cylinder, okay? And if you push them down and there's no creases around it, they're gonna stay and they're gonna maintain, they're gonna stand firm and strong. They're not gonna rumble. Now, if you put a crease in something or if you put a severe amount of constriction on something and then you press, if there's a crease in the front, it's gonna fold to the front crease to the side, whatever, it's gonna fold there. Now, if there's a consistent crease around it from constriction, it's just gonna crumble. It's gonna crumble on you, just like your core. So, a belt is not to support your back. A belt is not to support your back, bro. It is used for you to press and brace into. Okay, now if you are in a gym and they have those typical double prong, skinny in the front, wider in the back belts, have your buddy spin that bad boy around you, tighten you up appropriately. Can you still breathe, bro? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, good, there we go. Now fill into it. That's how you should do it. You want the wider part actually to be on your core so you can push and fill that belt up. You can't fill the belt up, it's too tight, take one out. Now, I am also a very stubborn human being like many of you. So, um, who was it? I was training with Kelsey Horton. And she was like, oh yeah, your belt's too tight. It's like, bitch, no it's not, shut up. I didn't call her a bitch, she was a sweetheart. But in my head I was like, you're dumb, you're wrong, because it's not how I do it, and I do it perfectly, and blah, 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 blah. It's like the rest of us, right? Well, I go up for my next deadlift, I wasn't even thinking about it. I have a lever belt, so I put that thing on. I'm, Kelsey Orton's here. I want to do something cool. Okay? I did the lift, and I was like, wow, that was, that was fucking great. And I went to pop it. I was like, hmm, weird. 
I didn't even cinch my lever belt down. I did it lighter by like two inches. So I was like, son of a bitch, maybe she was right. So I started lifting with my belt um, looser. I added like 45 pounds to my, to my deadlift in like a month and a half because I was able to fill up correctly. I was able to actually be athletic, not constricted. So first off, if there's a girl who's stronger than you, listen to her. Second off, if your coach is telling you something to try, don't be, don't be stubborn on it. You don't have to be constricted by your belt. You don't have to have a ratchet strap bench belt suit shit that's like, wow, I can't even breathe with this thing on. I'm still ratcheting down. Okay, I'm going blue. Now I'm gonna try and bench or I'm trying to squat. No, grow into your belt. Expand into your belt once it's on. Flex into it, press into it. That is how a belt is properly used. If you do that, I guarantee you your squat and your deadlift will both increase and you'll be able to get much more out of it. That is a guarantee. So probably shouldn't do that, but I am anyways. So give it a shot. Train with it for a little bit. That doesn't mean go ahead and toss your belt on. Never mind. Um, <laughs> that doesn't mean go and try and toss your belt on and wear this bastard like this. And like, oh my God, like he guaranteed me and I have four inches of space. No, it still needs to be snug, but it's not a koala bear. Couple fingers. Couple fingers. Couple fingers is cool. Anyone can handle a couple fingers. So let us know what you think. Please, please give that a shot and just see how it feels. Do some warm-ups with it and then give us some feedback. We'd love to hear what you guys think about that. So give it a shot, comment, hit us up. You guys know how to get a hold of us. We're all over the place with this thing. If you guys enjoy this stuff, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Give us a follow on social media and harass us with it. Hit us with your questions. These are the type of things we like to get into. As you can see, just talking about a ridiculous belt was very enjoyable for me. Hopefully, cool. hopefully this was enjoyable for you. <laughs> I'm taking Sierra's microphone away now. So, all right, talk to you guys soon. Thank you.